Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno. I just want to do a video about my newest obsession, which is vinyl. It is something I've been thinking about doing for a long time, just a passing interest, and then finally just the spark ignited in me, and I, I bought a player, and I started collecting records, and you know who you are. Don't comment about the Crosley, for God's sakes. Don't do it. You know who you are. Stop. I'm already thinking about getting a replacement for it, even though I think it's totally fine, but still, stop it. Don't even comment. Stop it. I know you're top damn. <laughs> Every time I post something on Twitter, it's, it's a <coughs> crazy. Okay. <laughs> cool dude, though. Anyways, uh,. So, I guess we'll start off with the oldest ones that I have, uh, which these are ones that I inherited, and it's been in the closet forever. These were originally my great-grandmother's, and then my dad got them whenever she passed away, and then I just took them one day because I already had one vinyl, which uh, I'll show you that one after, show you these old ones. But first up are the old ones, we got... Bobby Goldsboro Honey. Um, yeah, I literally never listened to this until I got the player, and like it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I actually really like the music for it, and it's just a sold standard vinyl, nothing particular. There's not even any paper sleeves in these. Uh, so yeah, but it sounded great still after all these years. So that's that's not bad. Um, so we'll set that one there. We got Elvis's Gold Records Volume Four. Still got the plastic on this one with the price sticker. Sold by Wool Cole, Department 210. Sell price was $337. <laughs> Not bad. And you can see on the back here the other albums that he sells. I don't know if they reprinted these or not, but and that's what the, uh, that looks like. It's an old RCA Victor. Oh, you can't even see it. There you go. Just standard black vinyl. And these things are still, still in great shape. But again, there's, I don't know if they. they I haven't researched enough to see if their original releases came in. Please, I assume they did. Yeah, so I guess our great grandmother just threw those away. Um, oh no! There we go. Next up is Patsy Cline. Can't stop the world and let me off. Special value, a dollar fifty-nine. Interesting. Still got the plastic on this one too, and. Again, this was just standard old black vinyl. How do you listen to that one? Not in the country, that is for sure. And apparently this is a comedy album, is what my dad was telling me. Still haven't listened to this one, but it's the Philip Wilson Show with special guest David Frost. It's like, okay. Yeah, I really like the design of this one. Because yeah, it's like the like old TV set. You flip that open. It's got the track list inside of here, top and bottom. And I guess he was the host. I don't, I don't know anything about this, uh, but you see this one's really a uh, just got the uh, ring wear on there. And just oh, standard vinyl. So I didn't even listen to the, listen listen to this one yet either. But you know, it's there in the collection. But the first one I ever have was this. I am Rafter. Rafter is me. The original Bioshock score. This came in the Bioshock 2 Collector's Edition years ago. And I, I've, this has always been in my collection, and I've never had a way to play it until now. Um, but yeah, this thing apparently is really expensive because they've never reissued it. But it, uh, and you can see it's just your standard black vinyl. Looks really nice. Literally only played it once so far, uh, just to pl play the main theme. <laughs> That's it, because I wanted to see if it played. Because like, it's been in my collection for so long, I didn't know. Then, when I got my player, I picked up two LPs. I got Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Vinyl Edition. Uh, well, they all just fell. But yeah, uh, I feel like modern vinyl collections, you got to have Guardians. Just because it's Guardians. 
Oh my god, this is... There we go. But yeah, this one's very nice. Um, I don't know if these are on 180 gram or not. It's not as hefty as the uh, Star Wars ones that I have, so I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know a way to identify what the weight is on any of these. But, um, oh, the paper sleeve is in there sideways. Well, at least I can show you the bottom like that. The paper sleeve's in there. I just didn't, I didn't pull it out. Uh, yeah, really love the, the Guardian series. I mean, who doesn't? The gatefold in this one isn't that appealing to me because it's old, old concept art. Nothing too spectacular. Because uh, it's not even pertinent to the movie anymore. But, you know, still. It's a nice set because you get Awesome X Volume 1 and you get the score, which there's something similar for Volume 2 you see here in a second. Um, but the other one that I picked up with the player was the Steve Miller Band Greatest Hits. I grew up listening to this CD constantly. Like, uh, my dad always had this in his car. Uh, that and Bob Seeger, the greatest hits from that, which there is a, another re release of that on vinyl. I want to try and get that. But to me, I've always loved Steve Miller Band. Really love everything they have. Like, Swing Town, uh, Take the Money and Run, Joker, If I Like an Eagle. Like, I mean, so many good hits on this album, you know? So, I've always listened to the CD. And what really made this be one of my first purchases was this translucent blue that they have here. Like that, it's pretty. It's a Walmart exclusive variant, and I, I, I just had to have that. Just had to, that was just too beautiful for me not to own, especially because it was one of my favorite albums growing up. Uh, next up, uh, I ordered a bunch from Amazon. So, we'll just start with the Guardians one since you already know about that. It's the Guardians Volume 2 Deluxe Edition. Um, this thing is beautiful. I love the gatefold on this because it's cassettes. <laughs> so, you got a dead media with um, a, another semi dead media. Even though vinyls make it a huge comeback, cassettes are uh, nowhere near. No one here is big, you know. And of course, they're a big part of the Guardian story and everything, so, you know. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that they have this here with the special names for everybody. It's, it's, this is what a gatefold should be to me. Artistic, beautiful, something that you'll look at, you know. Um, and the one thing I hate about this one is the Awesome Mix Volume 2 bleeds over into the score. And uh, there's a couple tracks that are missing because of that. Uh... I wish it was like Volume 1, where it was completely separated, you know, awesome mix, and then this, but, I mean, you could have just literally got rid of Guardians Inferno, nobody really likes that, but okay. <laughs> uh, again, these are just standard black vinyl, and this label's in the right way. Um, one thing I will say that I hate, uh, a lot of the ones I order from Amazon, uh, mainly because they're just Disney releases, the labels are all cracked and poorly applied. Um, so I don't know if that's just a Disney thing, because it hasn't happened with any of the other releases I have. So, But it was literally just all the ones that I got from that order. And these are all brand new. Oh my god, shrink wrap them and everything, so I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, uh... Next up, from that order, we'll go with Rogue One. Uh, just because it's the least interesting out of all the Star Wars ones. The cover itself is really fantastic, but it's the same as the CD. But you can't go wrong with this artwork, especially blown up, too. The gatefold uh, is basically the same as the back of the CD and everything, too. So it's nothing too spectacular, if you, especially even if you already have the, 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 the CD. But... Back again, same as the CD Vader, and it's actually a pretty blurry shot when it's blown up that big too, because they didn't really crop the resolution or anything like that. Anyways, this one also just a standard black release, so you can see the reason for me to take it out. But again, the labels I messed up on that one. The other one's about the same too, 
And it's only on my Disney ones. I don't know if it's just, just, just the press that they use to make those, like whoever, whatever company Disney uses is just shoddy or what, but... Next up is The Last Jedi. And the reason I was saying I'm not sure Guardians was on 180 gram or not, because these advertised that they were, there was a sticker on it. I should have saved it. You'll see in a couple of the other ones, especially the Watchmen ones, that I, I saved the sticker. So I'm, I'm, I'm a freak like that. Uh, but it said it on here, 180 gram vinyl, and it, they're significantly heavier. So, I, I've always loved the red Star Wars logo there, even if Flesh Eye isn't my favorite movie. Um, but boy, that gave hold. Whew. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. And the, the Star Wars Trilogy ones, they're in a black sleeve like this. And it's just black LP. So nothing too spectacular there, but I do like that it's got the, the black laminated paper there. That's a difference. And each of these Star Wars ones comes with a little booklet. So if there's mostly just screenshots, promo pictures, stuff like that. Uh, you can really see the film grain in that one. So again, nothing too spectacular, but I like that it's a more complete package, you know, especially over the Rogue One, which didn't even come with the booklet. And Moving on, we have The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> um, very, very defensive movie, even more so than The Last Jedi, but you know, whatever. I like it more than The Last Jedi because it feels more like Star Wars to me. But that's beside the point. Um, the gatefold on this. Oof. That is some beautiful art. They had that on the still book, I believe. But that, that is just some beautiful art there. I love that a lot. And again, it's just black vinyl, so there's no reason to make a blood on show you. But here's the booklet. Do a quick flip through. Can't really see the film brain on that one. <laughs> And there we go. Last from the Amazon order. It's the Halloween 2018 Expanded Edition. There's a lot of tracks on this that I've never heard, which was such a treat to listen to for the first time on vinyl. And what I love about this one is lenticular, so it looks like the flames are moving. Because you can kind of see that right there. Like that is so cool. So it's got that right there, it says Halloween on the back of that sleeve. And yeah, oh, see, there's an example. I saved the sticker for this one just because I like the way that that looked. These are my vinyls, I don't care. I do what I want to. Um, I didn't know that they released this as just a standard release. No. Well, how does that lose? Technical difficulties, <laughs> I don't know why that was inside there. But yeah, I, I thought this was just a waxworks release because i i've been looking into waxwork a lot and i'm like oh man that's so blood i hate that i missed that because i really would like to listen to the expanded one there was on um amazon and this is a standard release but i love the way the vinyl looks on this so there's the gatefold uh it's just all three of the last ladies looking down at uh michael in the basement it's really cool um i'll show you this too first because it's the least interesting it is just standard black vinyl, as you can see. Look at that level. There's something in there. Yeah, there's something in there. What? 
There's a business card. I didn't even know that was in there. Okay. And disc one, which is what made me instantly put this in my cart. It is pumpkin orange. <laughs> like, it is so awesome. It's darker than it looks here on camera. It's a lot lighter on camera. But, oh man, that looks beautiful in person. So, yeah, that really just sealed the deal for me there. Uh, I'm going to do a quick cut, and then I'm going to show you the last four that I have here, which are all Watchmen ones. And I'll tell you about one that I got coming, I think, tomorrow, which is really special. I'll do a separate video on that, but, you know, you'll see. I didn't even think to read this. This is a digital copy of the Halloween soundtrack. Um, so I don't know if I flashed the code yet or not, so there you go. Whoever wants it, the first person, you can have it. Really cool. Don't say I ever didn't ever didn't ever do anything for you. Okay, I'm gonna save but I can save the best for last. Uh, but these are my latest purchases. Or well arrivals, I guess you could say. And that is the Watchmen HBO show complete soundtrack. Volume one, two, and three. Um as you can see, in my efforts to try and save stickers, this one's all messed up. Which I guess it bubbled below that, I guess you could say. There we go. This one's perfect, and that one rips. But anyways, uh, volume one, um, it's designed to be like a fake band from the TV show. So Sons of a Pale Horse, The Book of Rorschach, their album. Um, they, there's no actual track list. You have to go online to find the track list for what these actually are. Um, yeah. Really cool. Um, I like that each one of these comes with a piece of in-universe items, too. So, first off, this one comes in a little sleeve like this. And these are all black vinyl, too. But I'll, I'll see, just black vinyl. <clears throat> but, uh, Regret Nothing, Live, Life, Reva, From Compromise, Step in the Shadow, Now Without Complaint, this relentless world, there is only one same person, one, one same response to it. So yeah, that's that. And you get this um, little newspaper clipping. Uh, uh, the apocalypse that wasn't. And tells you all about the band and who they are and the, the in-universe explanation and stuff like that. And it's really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, I really like the, the Watchmen HBO series. I was pretty um, adherent to it at first. I didn't I didn't want it to exist. It looked stupid. It looked terrible. Um, out of context, that Dr. Manhattan just looked like a parody to me, just, just the way it was presented. Watching it, it all made sense. Like, like that is the type of show you just need to go in blind and just enjoy the ride that it's going to take you on. Um, because, like, the still images of him would just look like the powder blue makeup and everything. It, just, it, it didn't look good. Especially compared to the movie. Like, it just, it just didn't look good to me. But, in context, the way it is, I'm like, that's perfect. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, God, I, I love Looking Glass. He's a really great character. Um, Angela. God, what's her nice sister? Like, yeah. Oh, really great character there, too. Um, so many... It's a really good show. So if you, if you were um, adherent to me, uh, to, like adherent to it like I was, give it a shot. You know, because like to, to me, it just looked like a poor imitation of what Watcher it is. And honestly, it is a really, really good sequel to the novel. It's not, not to the movie. There are nods to the movie, however. Uh, but we all know with the infamous ending change... Uh, to the movie, which I prefer, because uh, I don't like the giant alien squid. The, uh, that plays a big role in this series. So, Anyways, this one's themed to American Hero Story, which um, this is basically just like the backstory, like a, a dramatized TV show of hooded justice. And you actually get his real backstory in the show. I thought that was fantastic. Like he's one character that uh, I'm, I'm I'm obsessed with Watchmen and the Lord and everything, and I really like 
the original Minutemen. Like, those are really interesting characters. I wish we could get, like, a Golden Knight TV show or something like that of those. But this was pretty good. I, I like the take on this. I like that it's, like, the dramatized Hollywood version, and then you get the real dark version of it in the show, too. Like, that was, that was really cool. Um, but you get a newspaper clipping of that. Um, I'll trust in the law. Yeah, the... If you've seen the show, you know all these references. They're, they're just really, really cool. All the names that are circled. I like this. I like this a lot. It's it's really cool that you get these little in-universe items like that. Like this whole set is an in-universe item. And so uh, deleted scenes and there's actually a behind-the-scenes photo, but it's um, in-universe. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And then, of course, just black vinyl. So, nothing special there. I wish these were colored, you know, some crazy, especially the, the um, volume three. I wish that was Dr. Manhattan colored. That would be nice. If they ever issue a reissue of this with that, I'm totally buying. <laughs> totally buying that. If there's a variant out there, somebody let me know. Um, but as you see, this is the one that I messed up on, um, because the seller on eBay had his own little, like, yard sale stickers on these that were labeled, um, it said Trent Rasner, Atticus Ross, Watchmen, the volume one, two, three, and all each one of these. I made it, well, I tore, tore the whole shrinker up off of volume one and then reapplied the sticker there, and I was like, oh, it'll be easier because there's no gatefolds here. So just cut the plastic, leave the plastic on, and peel that yard sale sticker off, and it worked wonderfully on volume two. Didn't hear on three, um, because there's multiple stickers in each one of those, and I, I wanted to conserve them, because they're all in-universe. Like, it's not just like, oh, it's a special day, oh, look, it's Watchmen, cool. It's like, the only way you know this is Watchmen is because of the volume stickers, you know, because there, it doesn't say Watchmen Volume 3 or anything like that on here. It's all in-universe. It's just really unique. I like that a lot. I think I've said that a lot, but whatever, I like it a lot. And this one, um, it's talking about Dr. Manhattan, and this is what, it, it, it was Trent Reznor did the music for this, but this is as if Nine Inch Nails did a in-universe album about Dr. Manhattan. That's cool. I like that. Ugh, so cool. So just a quick flip through all these. Of course, so they are actually recording the score, but they put it in in universe, which is so cool. That's so cool. And the thing on this is nice. Everything's blue. See, I wish the vinyl was blue. See, it's just a standard. Black vinyl. Man, if it was a Dr. Manhattan glow, oh. Ooh, I'd be done. I'd be donezo. See, like, if they ever reissue this, like, it, it would be nice to have volume one to be like a Rorschach splatter and then have this one be like the colors of Hooded Justice and then have this one be Dr. Manhattan, you know. But whatever. It's just standard black vinyl. So if there is a variant out there, let me know. Like, I just bought this a lot because I was in love with the show and like the vinyl, and I was like, hey, what if there's some vinyl? And there was. Uh, but I haven't seen any of the variants, but whatever. Really cool. Really cool set. I like it a lot. I uh, wish we would get more in universe stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a cool collector's item. Uh, and last, but certainly not at least, I have to give a big shout out to my good friend Rob for helping me uh, hooking me up with this one. Um, yeah, due to coronavirus and uh, it's a personal trouble and everything, I haven't been able to get out and hunt for anything. And this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive yellow LP variant of the Watchmen score. And this, I had to have. I had to have, once I saw it, I had to have it. And, and you see, I conserved the stickers on this too, just because I like the way that look. I, they were actually crooked on the shrink wrap, and I fixed that here. Um, 
But the gatefold here is the Ar Archimedes um, and that owl's little layer here. It's just concept art, but it looks really cool. And on the back there, it's all those little character posters. There is a... Oh, pardon me. There's a seven-inch vinyl set that's got songs on it. I think it's for the score, I believe. It's all spread out, and it has these character posters, and they're all picture discs. Eventually, I might want to try and track that down, just because that's really cool, and I want to get everything Watchmen, because I love Watchmen. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. There is a little paper. Just a paper. It's stuck. There we go. There's nothing spectacular about it. It's not a booklet or anything, but um, you see there's Jeffrey D. Morgan going out the window, and there's the superior ending. I'm just going to say it. It makes more sense that Dr. Manhattan, well, that Vite would use Dr. Manhattan as the weapon rather than just a giant alien squid. And... <laughs> Like, they even play that up in in the series. Like, how does the world unify over this? You know, like, and then Vite has to keep it up and do squid falls and shit like that. Like, that's cool. I love that they played into that. But, to me, especially yeah, just in context, with the, in context with the movie, it makes more sense for it to be Dr. Manhattan. You know, for that, that to unify the world against just one singular person that's all powerful, you know, like, that makes more sense to me. So that's superior ending. Whatever. I'm sure I'll catch flack in the comments about that, but, you know, also Rorschach's a great character. Um, people about, oh, he's right, that's what we got with Morse. I don't care what Alan Morse said. <laughs> Rorschach's a great character. What's cool about this, uh, first off, it's in a wax waxed paper sleeve, which is nice, but as you can see, this is the first model that I fully take out. It is this bright yellow vinyl, and it is beautiful. I love it a lot. I played it quite a lot. It, oh, it, this is honestly the, the, the best sounding one that I have. The All the WB releases, so all the Watchmen ones here. They all sound great. The Disney ones, I, especially the Star Wars ones, they come out of the box very crackly. And I just haven't taken the time to clean any of them. Like, I don't know if it's just really dirty or really, uh, covered in static, but all the Star Wars ones are really crackly. This thing's crystal clear. Uh, and what kills me is this is side B. <laughs> Uh, first time I pulled out of the box, I'm like, oh, cool. You know, they, I didn't read this is this side, other side. But I just saw Watchmen. I thought, oh, that's going to be the, the main one because they always put the, the title on side A and they put a picture on side B. But now it's a verse here. you got Archimedes on side A and the Watchmen logo on side B. Um, but yeah. I absolutely had to have this. I'm not entirely sure how rare it is, um, but there was only one in stock at a local Barnes & Noble by me, but that was in the heart of COVID territory right now, and I didn't feel like adventuring out that way an hour away from home, and my buddy Rob helped hook me up, and I appreciate that, man. I wanted to cap off this video with just this little thank you there to you. Your restitution will be coming very shortly. And, oh, I've always loved this poster here, by the way. Just, like, have all their faces here. Uh, like, all the half faces. It's really cool. And the only ones that are really in focus, oh, really, it's just the comedian, you know, because even Dr. Mahan's out of focus back there. Like, because it's all centered around him, you know? Even though he dies in the opening of the movie, it's all centered around him. It's really cool. But anyways, that's just my little humble vinyl collection there. Um... If you made it to the end of the video, then I'm just going to spoil what the next video is going to be. And that's going to be an unboxing of the Waxworks The Thing box set. Um, I mean, I, I, that went up and sold out before I even got in the vinyl collecting. Uh, this is the one that includes Lost Cues. Um, so, I had to have it. I found a decent one on eBay. Brand new. Great price. Bought it. So, 
That'll be here soon. I got outbid on the Aliens Mondo release. I had a, I had an auction lined up on that. I had bid right there, twenty five dollars for a week and a half. Two days before, I put a max bid of seventy five. I'm like, I'm not paying more than seventy five dollars for this. Guy comes in seventy six dollars, and I had two days to do it. But like, now, nah, I don't want to pay more than that for one LP right now. You know, I, that's more money that I could buy more records with or a better player with. So. I had to hold off. But yeah, I'm, I think this is a nice little meager collection that I got here. It's very soundtrack focused because that's what I like. Um, but yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys collect vinyl or anything. I will, like I said, even with my little cheap ass Crosley that I have that hey, everybody loves the bitch and moan about, I can tell a huge difference because you can tell I focused on soundtracks that I've listened a lot to. I would have got the BVS one, uh, but it's $40, and I didn't quite feel like paying that just yet. That's the standard retail price, but you know, if I ever see it, I'll get it, you know, like in person, but I just never feel like paying that online. You know, I could get two other LPs for that price, but it's worth it, you know, but... Anyway, like my point was, this is all this is all stuff that I've listened to constantly. I know what these sound like on the CD, and except for the Watchmen HBO show, like that's still new. But <laughs> yeah, like all Star Wars ones, the Watchmen score, um, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, Halloween especially. Like I've listened to those countless, countless times. I don't know what they sound like on a compressed disc. It's a compact disc. With compressed sound. I know what that sounds like. And like this is a whole other realm of sound. So if I can get that out of a cheap Crosley, so like I don't know if I got a good player that's supposed to expand it even more. God, I can't wait. <laughs> that's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys click vinyl, uh, if you ever interested in it or anything like that. Like I said, uh, for me, totally worth it. It's an investment, that is for sure. It is definitely a hobby, but I think it's great. <laughs> 